Welcome. Today's topic is going to be Welcome. Today's topic is going to be how Germany got so rich. A major factor in Germany's wealth accumulation has been the Sparkins and Bangin system, which predates German unification by about half a century. As such, it followed the highly decentralized and regional, regional competitive nature of Germany before unification. By retaining this, Germany has been able to maintain banks that offer low interest long term loans to its various industries. This low interest long term loans allow for a German industry to have the latest machine tools. These machine tools help reduce the greatest levels of automation in, in Europe. These banks also played a role in the development of um, sent in the development of watchdog committees, which created a unique system of private central planning that guided the operations of important private firms and provided advice to smaller firms. This prevented many of these firms making the same shortfall mistakes that lead to nine out of ten startups failing in the United States today. With less failures, it meant less resources were wasted, and in turn compounded into a larger amount of wealth accumulation. Also, during the post-war period, the German government put the banking system's knowledge of its industry to good account, using the Marshall funds to plan a European plot recovery program that disseminated via this banking system as as for the long term of payable loans to industry, to medium and small in industries in particular. The selected firms with suitable projects that were going strong well into the 20th century. This resulted in many of Germany's hidden champions, which are companies small enough to not be noticed in things like the Forbes list. But big, but very effective in their various niche. Germany has more of these hidden champions than any other country, and thanks to these hidden champions, they have created a very strong brand that has covered all of Germany, called the Made in Germany brand, that has made Germany a major leader in engineering, in particular since engineering comprises of many of these niche de demands. These companies are also horizontally integrated, which in turn helps